Hello and welcome along to another video. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. I am in the Loch Lomond and Trossachs National Park once again and I have came to a hill that I have been up before and I've actually wild camped on this particular hill on the summit. Now the reason why I've came back here today is because this hill is super accessible. It's just over an hour's drive from Glasgow from where I live and there is really good car parking and in summer conditions there is a very good path all the way to the top. Now we're still in winter so we cannot bank on the path being accessible however it should be a very very good day nonetheless. Now as I said it is winter so I still have the crampons and the ice axe in the bag and as you can probably see behind me there is a good dusting of snow on the hill. Now the temperature today has to be pretty cold and there is risk of significant wind chill. However, the forecast is for the winds to die down and there is potential for the tops to be clear-ish. So we'll find out the higher we go if that is accurate or not. But thanks again for coming along and I hope you enjoy. One of the things I adore about this hill is that you gain height really quickly but it also <laughs> makes the initial stage of the walk quite hard work and uh, I'll not lie to you, I, I struggled with getting out of my bed this morning, I felt like quite under energised and I lacked a bit of motivation so the fact that I'm even here is <laughs> a small miracle, but you know, I'm a big believer in, you know, you, you create motivation through discipline and you know, motivation isn't instinctive in people. We need to practice at it. We need to be mindful of being motivated. So yeah, it was pure discipline that got me up and out this morning. Nothing to do with motivation. I am about halfway to the top and it's really really beautiful. When the clouds clear the views are spectacular up here. It really is one of the best vantage points in the Arica Alps and in the Trossachs. Stunning. I love it. Um, I was also just doing a little bit of thinking because I started talking about motivation versus discipline. I started thinking about accountability and how it could have been so easy for me to just call today off and to, you know, or even turn around up here. It'd be so easy because I'm on my own. I'm not accountable to anyone but myself. And I think that's part of the course of, of building discipline and in turn building motivation is, is you need to be accountable to yourself. Um, but yeah, but sometimes it's just, <laughs> it's so difficult, isn't it? But yeah, it's about, I think it's, for me, it's about, I need to practice being disciplined. I need to maintain accountability to myself. And that is what helps build my motivation. And that is actually the, the motivator, is being accountable and maintaining discipline, I think. Gosh, the things you think about when you're on a hill. It's so fascinating, it's interesting. But yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm about halfway to the top. I'm, I'm just having such a lovely walk, actually. I'm, 
I'm really glad I forced myself to come and do this because, you know, I'd have been so, so disappointed in myself if I hadn't. But yeah, let's crack on. Welcome to the summit of Ben Donach. Oh, the wind has just picked up a little bit, but that does not diminish how amazing this hill is and how beautiful these views are. I've absolutely timed it to perfection with the weather window. There's not a cloud over these peaks or any of the nearby peaks. It's incredible, really, really beautiful. But I'm not gonna hang about here for too long. I'm gonna head back the way I came find somewhere sheltered and have a cup of tea. And while I do that, you can enjoy some of these views. That was a lovely cup of Lapsang Souchong tea, if I do say so. I had to come all the way back to the short scrambly section in order to get out of the wind. But unfortunately I didn't get out of the cold, so the tea was very welcome. And sadly, this video is coming to a close because the way back is exactly the way I came up. Now, I absolutely love Bendona. It is a smashing little corbett. Um, I've only done it twice but every time I've had a lovely experience, I think the views are great and it's just a beautiful hill and it's challenging enough and then with a the little bit of snow, you know, it just sort of amps it up a little bit more, which is always great fun. And I think if I hadn't have done this today, I would have been supremely disappointed. 
you know, I think there's a lot to be said for creating your own motivation. And I think for me, you know, being disciplined or practicing discipline more importantly, and staying accountable to myself is, is the motivation that I need in order to do these things. But yeah, um, thank you so, so much for watching. As you can probably tell in my voice, I'm a lot happier now than I probably was at the start of the day. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do let me know. As I always say, I love reading the comments. So please, you know, feel free to comment if you've enjoyed it and let me know. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the hills soon.